couple of fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm pretty excited for this video because I'm just going to be talking about all the new indie makeup releases from the past week or so that really caught my eye and my personal opinion on them. Uh, before we jump in, I just want to mention really quickly, as I do pretty much every week, that this video was inspired by um, Samantha March and Angelica Nikis, so I have them linked down below. If you are living under a rock and you're not subscribed to those two lovely ladies, you are definitely missing out. Um, and then I also have all the accounts that I use for information, so if you want to stay updated, see all the new releases and everything like that, I will leave those in the description box as well. So let's go just say <laughs> So let's just go ahead and jump on in. Jeez, I was really getting ahead of myself there. Okay. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about today is the new Certify Affinity Palette, and this is so beautiful. I cannot even stand it. I already told you guys that I was like literally like seriously enamored with this palette and that it was like the number one thing on my wish list. I could not wait when they showed the digital photograph of it. I just fell in love. They went back and forth between diff two different options, one all matte and one with a few different shimmers and they ended up going with the all matte one and we can now see what it looks like as an actual palette, real shadows, everything and I think it is so so beautiful. Um, I don't know, I'm just, I cannot with this palette. I feel like there's a lot of similar shades but the color scheme all together just makes me so, so happy. I also feel like this looks very much like the P. Louise Secret Center palette. And they are a very similar price point. But I no longer consider P. Louise um, cruelty free because they sell mink lashes. So if you were interested in that palette and you didn't want to end up getting it, I think this one, the only shade here that it's missing is the teal. But I think everything else... or maybe a, li a really light peach shade too but everything else you can get in this palette in case you wanted that one and then you didn't want to buy it because they sell make lashes so I already pre-ordered this I cannot wait to get my hands on it I don't I think they said it's not even shipping till after Christmas but I was like I don't even care I just want to buy it right away if you do go ahead and pre-order this palette just want to throw out there that um, Angelica does have a code to get 10% off that's what I personally use I'll make sure to leave in the description box I always try to leave if I know any codes I leave them down below what regardless of whether they're mine or my friends just anywhere I can find a code to save you guys some money so I genuinely feel like this palette has kind of changed my perspective in a way because I feel like all the time I'm like oh yeah I kind of like that palette or I think it has a few pretty colors and I talk myself into things and sure I've gotten a lot of beautiful palettes a lot of things I really like but I feel like I just need to be better about not buying something unless I 100% like 99.9% .9 of the shades because I've talked myself into palettes that I like I was I wanted them but I wasn't like extremely super excited to have them the way that I am for this palette and the way that I used to be when I didn't buy as much makeup. I don't know everything that came out this past month or so I would see it and I would want it but then I would think like do I want to spend the money on this or do I want to spend it on the certified palette and the certified palette one every time so I just can't wait to get that. All right so next I want to mention that Gimme Glow Cosmetics is coming out with a holiday collection and I think this is so so cute. So this is the Christmas morning palette and I don't have like a full really good picture but I can show you like the kind of divided and also um, swatches and I think this palette is absolutely stunning. There's like a blue brown duochrome, a green, a red, um, a copper, a light brown, a um, cranberry shade, a deep gray, and a really intense silver. I think this is such a pretty color scheme. I really like the packaging. I just have a feeling that this is going to be limited edition because obviously Christmas morning, I mean, are you going to sell Christmas morning palettes in July? I don't know. Um, and I don't know. I feel like this is one of those palettes. I'm like, I like it. I really want to try Give Me Glow, but I'm not in love with the color scheme. I think it's beautiful. I could see so many people liking it and I think it's unique, but I just don't feel like I need it in my collection. So I think that's going to be a pass for me, but... I'm excited about this, so I'm holding out, especially for Gimme Glow because I've been wanting to try something for a while, and that Christmas morning palette did catch my eye, but they posted a sneak peek for this palette, and I cannot wait. This is going to be the Juicy Olive palette. If this is my dream green palette, I'm going to, like, literally die. <laughs> because I've wanted to try Gimme Glow for so long. I've, I've tried one eyeshadow from them and I think I bought like some of their brushes because they were on sale for $2 or something like that. But this palette, I have very, very high hopes for a perfect green palette. I mean, you could not call it Juicy Olive and, and do like a neutral color scheme, can you? Like, 
can I sue them if they do that? No, seriously, I'm so excited for this. So that's what I'm holding out for because I, I'm, I think that palette is going to be the one that makes me say yes to give me glow. So next, really quickly, I wanted to talk about Glam Light. I already talked about the palette and how beautiful I think it is and how I would buy it myself, but they did say that they're going to send it to me. Um, so I can't wait to get that and I will definitely be doing a bunch of looks with that as ASAP. But I did want to mention really quickly that they are coming out with a full collection of there's three body luminizers and six loose highlighters. I can't speak to the formula or anything like that right now. I feel like body luminizers is just something I never get excited about because I just don't use them. Um, but I am excited to see the loose highlighters. I haven't seen all the shades, but I think this whole collection will be available tomorrow on Friday. So that's two days ago from the time you're seeing this video. So everything will be available. I'll have it linked down below. So I'm sure when I'm editing this video, I can add the pictures of what the loose highlighters look like, but I haven't seen them. Only the one that shade that they showed in like the teaser pick. So can't speak to the colors, can't speak to any of that. I just figured I would mention that there is a full collection coming, but I'm just most ex excited about the palette. All right, so next we have a little sneak peek. I can't say much on, but it looks maybe like a palette and this is from blush tribe and certify and it has the two sisters the two owners of blush tribe and certify on it um in the typical like blush tribe packaging and i'm just excited about this to see what it's going to be i feel like this they are a, one serious set of creative sisters honestly so I, i'm very excited to see what that's going to end up being Next, Dolzara Cosmetics is coming out with a new peaches and cream highlighter in collaboration with um, Olivia Makeup, and I think this is pretty. Honestly, from the picture, it doesn't look that peachy to me, but I think it does look like a really stunning highlighter. I like the name peaches and cream. Um, I'm not sure if I would pick this one up because I just have so many from Dolzara I want to pick up. Like I have like eight in my cart right now. Alright, so next I really wanted to mention this because I think this is so cute. This is from Copacetic Cosmetics, and this is the Cafe Mocha Eyeshadow Quad. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. It has very neutral shades in it, but all the shades have a coffee little imprint in them with a little heart on it. And it says that this eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow quad is coffee scented. Um, yes, so, so cute. This is personally something I wouldn't buy because I really don't need those shades. Back in the day, that would have been like my go-to quad, like a light brown, a light icy shade, a gold, and a like deeper brown. I would have worn that like every single day years ago. Um, so this is a pass for me, like for me, but if this is affordable, I'm not sure of the pricing or anything like that. I definitely want to pick this up for my mom because I feel like this is an eyeshadow quad she would use every single day and my mom is seriously obsessed with coffee. Co coffee is her life so <laughs> I think she would think this is really cute and I think that would be a really good Christmas gift for my mom so I am interested in picking this up but not for me. I don't know I think it's so so cute. I love the idea. I love the imprints so that is very cute. So next up is the Bombshell Cosmetica Candy Shop Collection, and I believe that there are going to be more products in this collection, but right now I've just seen the three eyeshadow palettes, and the packaging on these is so, so cute. The different um, candy themes, I love it. All right, so looking at the palettes, I feel like the red, the one with the red packaging I could do without. Um, I think it is more on the unique side. I do like it. There's a pop of red, a pop of um, pink, a pop of blue, kind of like a mustardy yellow. So I do think it's a little bit more unique, but I don't feel the need to own it. Um, the one with the pink packaging, I was kind of like, I kind of didn't look at it that much, but then I looked at it again and I was like, that bottom row with like the different purples looks very similar to the purples in the certified palette, but... I feel like the shades in that are so unique and kind of a weird combination, but at the same time, I kind of love those colors together. I think that's actually such a unique color scheme. I'm really hoping the gold shade is like a super green gold and not like just another regular gold, but I do think that one's really pretty, especially that bottom row got kind of got me out of nowhere. So the last palette, the one with like the ombre rainbow of colors I just feel like this one is so beautiful I love the different mattes and shimmers in here and that is the one I'm definitely drawn to the most it's definitely more of a rainbow palette has like a little bit of each color but I still think it's really beautiful I could see a lot of beautiful looks with it I'm actually wearing the um the Candylicious palette from Bombshell right now which I'm filming currently filming something with and I'm hoping to have it up 
this coming week hopefully if I get it all edited in time and I'm really enjoying the shadows so um, Bombshell Cosmetica did tell me that they're sending me a PR package so I'm assuming that I'm gonna get all of these I'm not sure if I'm gonna get all of them or one or what or I don't know I'm assuming all of them but I still wanted to just be like frank about it and tell you guys which ones I would buy with my own money and I feel like probably the top two probably the top two maybe not the pink one just because the bottom row looks like the certified palette I just pre-ordered but definitely the rainbow one I would personally buy with my own money um, especially because I am liking the formulas so this next release I was definitely going back and forth in my head like should I talk about it should I not talk about it just because I feel like it's definitely a touchy subject people are really easily offended and I've gotten myself in trouble in the past talking about this just because I don't have the most popular opinion but I think I can talk about this without offending anyone hopefully fingers crossed um, so Milk Cosmetics is coming out with a new palette and it is called the Smoke Sessions palette and I have a lot of thoughts going on in my head so first of all um, I just wanted to mention I don't think this is out of the box for Melt Cosmetics. It it kind of goes with their branding, with their themes. They've had a lot of references in their names and stuff over the years, so it makes sense for them to do it. I also feel like from what I've seen, Melt Cosmetics has a little bit more of an older audience. That's like whenever I talked about milk makeup, like kind of glorifying drugs, I feel like I've seen like a lot of like younger people use milk, a lot of teenagers, people who are more impressionable, who might think, oh yeah, drugs are cool, like I should do them, and I'm not here to tell you whether you should or shouldn't, <laughs> but I feel a little bit better about it because like I said, Melt is, I feel like their audience is a little bit older. I'm not in love with the idea of glorifying drugs. I know that weed can be really good for a lot of people, that there's medical uses. I know that people love recreational use, whatever. That's your own personal choice. I know that the state I live in, it's completely illegal. A lot of places around the world, it's illegal, which is why I'm not like 100% comfortable with it being glorified, if that makes sense, because there are people out there who, if they have weed on them, if they do it, they could get in a lot of trouble. So that's kind of my standpoint on it. That being said, if this is my most perfect palette ever, I could still see myself purchasing it. I'd probably get it and like scratch out like the little weed impressions on the bottom because I'm petty like that. And I think I might end up really liking this palette because I think it's going to be a lot of greens. Although I will say that I really was kind of reflective on this palette and I really thought about it a lot because I've kind of been like, okay, like we get it. You smoke weed. Like why does it have to be a theme? Like why is it such a like big deal and so many people are like oh my gosh this is the coolest thing ever I love this like oh my gosh I love weed I'm like I get it I get it but I just don't get it <laughs> and then I kind of thought to myself I'm like I would be the first person to say that I would love a wine themed palette I think that a wine themed palette would be so so cute like imagining in my head all different berry tones and the different wine names I would love that so I was kind of like well that's kind of hypocritical because alcohol and marijuana are both substances that how do I say it change your mind mess with you make you feel things I don't know a good phrase for it but they both have effects on you so I guess I could say the same thing to myself and I'm like okay we get it you like wine we get it <laughs> so I've kind of you know just been like okay like I'm not really gonna be against it I'm not gonna be for it I'm just gonna you know whatever the theme is there's good there's bad you could argue both sides I'm not in love with it but if it's the perfect palette I'm not against purchase purchase purchasing it either and from the first shade I think it looks really um it looks like it could be a good thing I'm really hoping it's not like another release where it's like the first few shades are like so cool and intense and they grab you and then the last few are like knit like I like they're just not very exciting which is what I talked about before that's how I felt about the Gemini palette I talked myself into it when I only really liked half the shades I'm still glad I bought it because the half that I really like I really really like but the other half I could completely completely do without so I'm gonna keep that in mind with this palette I want to be able to like every single shade to buy it so that's that's my two cents on the topic so if I talk about it in the get again in the future I'm just gonna be talking about the color it's not gonna really touch on the whole subject again because I know I saw a lot of comments back and forth the goods the bads like oh I hate this I love this you know you're stupid if you love it, you're stupid if you hate it and I don't want any of that on my channel it just it is what it is so like always 
if you want to argue with someone don't argue with me please because i don't have the time for it but if you want to argue with someone in my comments let's all be respectful to each other <laughs> so next um is from baby at beauty and they're coming out with four new matte like li matte liquid lipsticks and a return of spiked apple cider and i think these are beautiful such unique shades like okay zodiac's not unique but that color um, immediately draws me in because i just love the color it's just like a really pretty light pink nude but the shade Mabon, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Like, I'm like, I know I don't need a yellow lipstick. I know that would not look good with my teeth. That would not do good things for me. But, oh my gosh, it's so pretty though. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, I I really want to try ba Baby Bat Beauty's liquid lipsticks. But... I think I'm going to pass on these for now, even though I do think the shades are really unique, which is why I wanted to share them with you guys. All right, all right, okay. So we have one more indie release to talk about, and that is going to be the Enchanted Luster Cosmetics Luxury Chrome Bow Palette. And I don't, I'm not looking at my phone because I need to go ahead and make a collage of all the shades. And I feel like by the time I edit this video, all the shades will have been revealed, hopefully, so I can do a complete collage so you guys can see everything. Um, and I am definitely purchasing this palette. I think it is so, so beautiful. I love that every single shade is a duochrome, and you might not be able to tell from the picture. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the collage, but you definitely want to go on their Instagram and check out their swatch pictures because you can see the different reflex, and some of these shades are so, so unique, and I recently picked up two, or I have two of their prism shades now. Their, um, formula is just amazing and beautiful and so cool. So I, I feel like this is like a dream palette. Like I'm just imagining this plus the affinity palette together, the duochromes and these beautiful, like rich sunset matte shades. I just, I want to pair those together so bad. So I'm definitely going to be buying this palette and I love that it's all duochromes and it's all cool shades and it's not a bunch of neutrals. There's a lot of color here and I just... I'm so excited about it. All right, so now on to a few mainstream releases. The first I want to mention is the new BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. And I feel like, wait, no, BH Cosmetics might be independently owned. I don't know. Okay, so this palette, I like half the shades. May, actually, maybe not even half. Like, if I do my little trick and I, like, put black over the shades that I don't really like that much, I think I would only be really left with, like, six shades. So I think this is going to be a pass for me, although I think if you like these shades, I would recommend purchasing it based on my opinion of the original Zodiac palette because the formula was amazing. Like seriously, the most creamy, smooth mattes, super buttery foils, like such a nice palette. Um, so I think if you like these colors, you won't be disappointed as long as the formula is the same, but I'm personally not going to be purchasing this. All right, so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the new ColourPop collection and... I think this is called like chasing rainbows or something and I just want to ask where the rainbow is. I'm honestly so disappointed in this collection for one like because the outer packaging was so beautiful I was like wow Colourpop is about to steal my heart make me spend my money and then I saw the inside and maybe I should thank them for helping me save money but seriously okay. So the picture I'm showing you guys on screen right now let's talk about everything but the palette first. There is a bunch of like glitterly glitterly liquid glitter gel glitter things which you cannot wear on your eyes which is just like what's the point <laughs> so there is a highlighter palette in this collection i think i was extremely disappointed by this one just because the outer packaging is so beautiful i thought it was going to be duochromes or colorful or something different and then the inside of the palette is literally every other highlighter palette ever there's a pearl shade a light gold shade a peach shade and a copper shade which i mean i could name like 60 highlighter palettes right now that have those shades in there specifically the light the gold and the copper um i just feel like i don't need that so that was definitely a disappointment and then the eyeshadow palette okay so the picture that i'm showing you guys right now um i think it looks pretty it looks nice in the sunlight it's all good but i feel like so many shades in here i'm just like nah about like it is not chasing the rainbow like it is neutral with like four pops of rainbow and that's it and if you like like I said, I like the way it looks in this picture, but um, our beauty cult actually already has the palette and they posted a picture. I took a screenshot of it um, to show you guys how it looks normally and it looks worlds apart. Like it doesn't, 
I have no need for this palette. I have no want for it. I just think if they're going to have a palette, call it Chasing the Rainbow or something like that, have this holographic packaging and then it's just like this. I'm so let down. <sighs> so that's definitely a, a pass for me. There's a bunch of different lipsticks and lip glosses and super shock shadows and everything like a crazy amount of products. So I'm just, I'm honestly not here for it. So next I wanted to mention something really quickly. And this is just the new Laura Lee Los Angeles, what is this, the Sleigh Bell collection. I wanted to mention one thing in particular. I'm not really going to talk about everything, but there is a palette here, which is pretty. Um, it has like some light neutrals. It has a like bronzy green, a silver, a red. And the reason I wanted to mention this because is because if you like the palette color scheme here, I would just suggest getting the Give Me Glow Cosmetics. Christmas morning palette because it's seriously so similar but even more pretty it's really special packaging and any thoughts on Laura Lee aside from what I tried in the colorful palette like the formula was not not on point so if you're looking at this palette and you don't want to support her or you don't um, like her eyeshadow formula then I would say the Gimme Glow Cosmetics Mer um, Christmas morning palette is it looks very similar to this but even prettier so so next I have one product in the new Kylie Cosmetics Holiday Collection I want to talk about. Everything else is a pass for me, but the one thing I want to talk about is their blush. I love Kylie Cosmetics blushes so much. They are just, like, perfect for fair skin. Like, if you don't want too much pigment, I just love her blushes. And when I saw this and I was like, oh, a new blush, I'm like, oh, I want it so bad, but I know I really, really don't need it. So I'm going to pass on it. I promise I'm not crying. I just have a cold. So... I want it, but I'm trying to be a smarter purchaser, so purchase, purchaser, purchaser, purchase, a purchaser, I'm trying to be a smarter consumer, so I'm going to pass on it, even though that packaging, the blush, oh, I want it. All right, so the last thing I'm going to talk about, you guys tagged me in this so, so much, and I literally kept forgetting to talk about it, and it's the new Tartiste Pro Remix Palette, and... I have a few thoughts. First of all, I'm disappointed that the outside packaging doesn't match the inside. It could still be neutral with pops of colors, but why have outside packaging with like bright blue, bright pink when there's not even a pink in the palette? That doesn't really make sense to me. But I will say what makes sense to me is the fact that this is only a partially colorful palette. I really don't think it would make sense for Tarte Cosmetics as a brand to just randomly come out with a colorful palette as much as I would love that. I don't think that's their audience, their market. So it, this palette makes sense for them. It's just not something I like or want to buy. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.